storm is an absolute beast with rainfall really stretching across southern areas of India through Sri Lanka. Indonesia is getting some good rainfall out of this as well. And in that center of circulation, we're looking at uh, winds gusting up and over 100 knots at this time. It is a very severe cyclonic storm umpun. Now, I call it a very severe cyclonic storm, and for those of you not familiar with the official warnings from this area, I think, Robert, stop hyping this. It's, it's Just call it what it really is. It really is called a VSCS, see right there? A very severe cyclonic storm system. And let's pull it back up here to the top of the screen. See right here, a very severe cyclonic storm umpum, as actually how it's pronounced, over central and southern areas of the Bay of Bengal. Said this storm is no joke, guys. Winds are expected to be gusting upwards of 135 knots at landfall. But the big problem is just the scope of this. This has a lot of a decent forward motion, especially on the right side of it. And that's going to be a catalyst for that threat of storm surge. And what I mean by just the overall scope, another good imagery for that, this graphic from the University of Wisconsin. There's your center of circulation. Look at this moisture flow coming into this storm. It is just gathering up everything in the area. The sea surface temperatures are over 30 degrees Celsius. And my biggest worry is, yeah, the, on the right side of this storm system. How is that going to affect storm surge in one of these most storm surge prone areas of the world? I mentioned this in my last video. If you're not familiar with the Bay of Bengal, Bangladesh, um, West Bengal, this is the area of the Boho Cyclone back in 1970. Over 200,000 deaths, and it just still astounds me. This is actually a topic I've researched quite extensively because only 50 years ago, 200,000 deaths in one storm. Just catastrophic. Of course, there was a lot of geopolitical stuff going on at the time. That's one reason why East Pakistan is no longer a thing after the Boho Cyclone. But uh, regardless, people have fixed. I mean, there is new... Uh, measures put in place, but the area is still prone to storm surge. That's my point I'm trying to get across. Here's the ECMWF model, actually taking that center of circulation on shore in West Bengal, eastern areas of Odisha there in eastern India, uh, but I should have said eastern India, eastern areas of, uh, of um, Odisha and West Bengal, and a lot of that flow out ahead of it pushing up into Bangladesh. Uh, this is kind of a zoomed out view, just showing you that overall circulation. I want to zoom it in. Seeing this this fantastic weather app. This is actually Meteor Earth. Um, you can download this on any app store. It's really great at visualizing. Now, it only uses one model, the ECMWF, but good visualizing here. And you can see that circulation coming on shore as we go ahead through Tuesday, heading into Wednesday. This is right around West Bengal. But all of this, these are floodplains right up in here. And that is uh, significantly storm surge prone areas. All of this is just going to be water being pushed on shore into the delta, and that is going to create a significant risk of storm surge and flooding, And which is why, I mean, already I've seen news sources talking about evacuations here, that people just need to get out of Dodge before this comes on shore, because it's going to be a brute of a storm system uh, before it can quickly moves off there across Bangladesh and, and really significantly weakens out by that point but a lot of the damage is going to be done here and I mean this is just another visual if you are unfamiliar with the geography of the area the entire coastline here is just a floodplain and that's when we we're talking about that threat of storm surge I mean a lot of this area only a few feet above sea level so once you get a storm surge coming in it really does cause some significant problems that's Odisha right in here and this is right about the area we're expecting that landfall uh, along the coastline all the way extending up through uh, western areas of Bengal and then extending into Bangladesh. Anyways that is just a quick look at this storm system. These updates by no means in uh, a way to supplement the official forecast. So of course, check in with uh, the India Meteorology Department and uh, JTWC, also another good agency to take a look at. But it's just some uh, quick information. I know a lot of you have been asking questions on this one. It is a beast out there. It's just large. I think that's the big thing with it, the scope. Um, when you match this up against uh, the size of uh, Feng Feng, which is another storm I've been covering here, uh, is just much larger as far as the scope and eventually the intensity as well. So a uh, big threat of storm surge, the geography of the area, the intensity, all of that matched up together could be very problematic. Stay safe, my friends out here across uh, India and through Bangladesh. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.